What's up everyone, you're about the Pesh Kumar here and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys my own roster. I try and be very honest with you guys, okay? I try and show you everything in an airline pilot's life exactly as it is. And as an ongoing effort, as a part of that ongoing effort, today I'll be showing you guys my own personal roster. Now before you ask me, a roster is basically a schedule that we get for the whole month which tells us what all flights we are operating in that particular month. So today I'm gonna be letting you guys have a look into my own actual roster, my actual flights that I've flown in a particular month. Okay, before we get started, a few points about roster. So like I said, a roster is a schedule for the whole next month. So for example, let's imagine abhi January chal rahe. So a good airline, any good airline, will send you a roster for the whole of next month that is the whole of February in January towards the last week of January so somewhere in the last week you will get an email from the company or if your company uses an application that application will be updated with your next month's flights so you can log into the application or you can check the email and you'll have a list of all the flights that you'll be operating for the next month the reason this happens is so that you can plan your own life now see we as pilots we are also human beings we also have lives which are beyond flying airplanes kahi aana jana hota hai ghar ke kaam karne hote hain logo se milna hota hai kisi vacation pe jana hota hai a lot of things are there and we plan our lives alongside the flights that we operate so if you already know what flights you're operating for the next month your life becomes very easy and then you can plan your work or you can plan your meetings or anything around those flights this is the purpose of giving pilots a roster because obviously if today i do not know what flight i'm operating tomorrow my life will be very uncertain to avoid that uncertainty is why we get this roster now i mentioned good airline why do i say good airline see if a airline is well managed if its schedule is well planned then you will get a roster for the full month you will know what flights you're operating for the whole of the next month However, if an airline is not very well planned with its operations or if there are changes happening in that airline schedule very often, flights are getting cancelled or things are happening, then you will not get a roster for the full month. You will only get it for like one week or 10 days or 15 days. A lot of airlines in India, unfortunately, send their rosters for only one week or 15 days. I'll obviously not name the airlines, but thankfully the one that I'm working for, we get a roster for the full month well in time and well in advance. Another thing you should know about these schedules is that these schedules can change. So depending upon the operational requirements, for example, let's say some aircraft has some problem, technical problem and it's out of service. That will cause a lot of changes in the schedule. So you can expect your roster for the next month to change. So basically what I'm trying to say is these schedules are tentative. They are obviously liable to change depending upon operational circumstances and airline requirements. However, once again, if the airline is well managed and well planned, these rosters most probably do not change. So as a pilot, you can plan your life. However, obviously, if the airline is a little bit of a mess, then they will for sure change your roster. I personally have had months where I got a roster for the full month, but not a single flight was maintained. And I've also had months where the whole roster was maintained. So this obviously depends upon operational circumstances and a lot of other external factors as well. Now you guys know, I used to fly for Jet Airways earlier. I started my career with Jet Airways and I was the first officer there, eventually became a captain there. And then now currently I'm flying with AirAsia. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a roster from Jet Airways. I can't show you AirAsia roster because a roster and a schedule is considered to be an internal company thing and I can't really show it to you guys publicly because obviously the company is gonna hang me then. So today we'll be having a look at a Jet Airways roster from the past. It is exactly the same in pretty much all airlines. However, there's one thing that you need to understand. I used to fly the Boeing 737 with Jet Airways. 737 is a short to medium haul aircraft which operates on a lot of domestic sectors and also flies a few international sectors which are close by to India. For example, Middle East, Hogya, Yafir, Singapore, Bangkok, these kind of flights. We do not operate to Europe or USA. So a pilot who's flying a wide body aircraft 
and operating to either Europe or United States or you know long haul flights their rosters will be significantly different as compared to the one you are going to see right now however eventually when you guys get a job you will most probably start flying a narrow body aircraft and your roster will look exactly like what I'm going to show you right now so now without any further ado keeping all these points in mind let's dive into my roster so this is what the roster looked like in Jet Airways. So we used to get an email from the company and that email used to have this PDF file which had all our flights for the next month. So this roster is for Tapesh Kumar as you can see, named Tapesh Kumar. This used to be my staff number in Jet Airways. I was the first officer back then operating out of Delhi. So Dell FO flying the Boeing 737. Birthday comment you see here is empty. Well, because it was not my birthday month. <laughs> in Jet, if uh, the roster was for your birthday month, it used to say happy birthday. Actually very sweet of Jet Airways. So as you can see here, on the top we have all the dates for the full month from 1st of February all the way till 29th of February in green color below those dates you have the flights for those particular days now this format might be different from airline to airline but the basic thing behind it is all the same so as you can see here on Monday 1st of February I operated 9W336 this was the flight number 9W was the code for Jet Airways. The flight that I operated was Delhi to Bombay. Del Bomb. So these three alphabet codes are basically ITA codes. ITA stands for International Airline Transport Association. This is a union, international union, which has given every airport in the world three alphabet designators and those are what are used in the roster before we continue if you guys enjoying the video if you think the content on the channel is good please do consider subscribing to the channel it really helps me out and we are approaching 100k so keep subscribing and thank you so much for all the love and the support also you can follow me on instagram my instagram id is in the description or you can just search for tapshi t-a-p-s-h-i on instagram and you'll find me follow me there for some nice insights into my own personal life and also my flying life i operated from delhi to bombay departed at 4 18 and landed at 6 26. now one more thing is that these timings are all utc timings utc stands for universal time coordinated or it is basically the standardized time for aviation we do not follow local times because when you fly from one country to another a local time usage would result in confusion so we fly a single unified time in aviation called utc which is actually the time at the greenwich meridian 418 basically means in india it was actually uh, 948 as local time basically india operates 5 hours and 30 minutes ahead of utc time so whatever is the utc time to get the local time in india you add 5 hours and 30 minutes to that so keep in mind these times are all utc times okay back to the roster so that day i operated delhi to bombay departed at 418 utc landed at 626 so a morning departure landed into cochin in somewhere in the afternoon and then we took off from bombay and we went further to cochin now in cochin we had a layover so we went to a nice hotel which was paid for by the company we had a nice time there swimming swimming curry khana wana khaya achche se and then the next day we operated cochin to Sharjah which was an evening departure landing into Sharjah somewhere in the night. The aircraft that we were operating that day was Victor Tango Juliet Bravo Victor. This is the registration of the aircraft that we operated. Registration is basically the name given to an aircraft. Every aircraft has a specific so-called name or registration and that is what is given here. Then on the third, we did absolutely nothing in Sharjah. We had a good time, went around, mall wall ghum ke aaye. went to Dubai, had a nice time. And then on the 4th, in the evening, actually night, we went from Sharjah back to Cochin. Landed into Cochin early morning and then again we had a layover in Cochin. On the 6th, we then went from Cochin to Bombay and from Bombay further on towards Delhi, which is back home. So as you can see, I started on 1st, I went away from my home on 1st and I came back to my house on the 6th. So this was a six day pattern. Now these six day patterns are not very common. They are very rare. 
and this one was a very peaceful pattern actually that we had in jet normally when you depart out of your base you go out for about three or four days and then you come back home that's the usual time you're out but sometimes we did have these six day patterns so when i came back from the six day pattern i had two days off so as you can see seventh and eighth were my off days where i was at home doing absolutely nothing like i always do on the ninth I went from Delhi to Lucknow somewhere in the afternoon and from Lucknow we went further on towards Abu Dhabi. In Abu Dhabi we again had a layover where we had a good time once again and on the next day from Abu Dhabi we went to Bangalore. Again we had a layover in Bangalore and on the 12th we operated one single sector Bangalore to Delhi and then I was again back at my house. Then on the next day, on 13th, I operated Delhi Hyderabad and Hyderabad Delhi. On this day, you see here RC is written. RC means route check. Basically, we as pilots, we have to give route checks every year. So basically, once in a year, you fly with a line training captain or a trainer basically and they assess if you're qualified enough or if your flying is good enough to operate online as a pilot. That is done once every year and this particular day was my route check. Then I came back from Hyderabad the same day and then I was at home on the 14th and 15th again doing nothing. On 16th, I went from Delhi to Bangalore and the next day from Bangalore to Delhi. So again I had a layover in Bangalore and as you can see here it says PS. PS means positioning. What that means is I was not operating on this particular day on 16th. I was just sitting as a passenger. I went to Bangalore. I stayed in a nice hotel and the next day I operated one single flight Bangalore to Delhi. That's why here it says OP. OP means operating. So basically to operate one flight Bangalore to Delhi, I went to Bangalore on the previous day, stayed in a 5 star hotel and then the next day I operated one single sector and came back home. Then on the 18th came the best flight that we had in jet which was a Bangkok layover. So Delhi to Bangkok, early morning departure and on landing into Bangkok you stay again in a nice hotel. And on the next day, you operate Bangkok to SGN. SGN is Ho Chi Minh City. This is a city in Vietnam. So we used to operate Bangkok, Ho Chi Minh and Ho Chi Minh to Bangkok on the same day. And then we had a layover in Bangkok again. And the next day, in the afternoon, we went from Bangkok to Delhi back home. Whatever happens in Bangkok stays in Bangkok. And then on 21st, we operated Delhi, Pune, Pune, Delhi and then i was off for two days so 22nd and 23rd of february i was off on the 24th of february i did delhi chennai chennai delhi and i was back home the same day now these flights are known as qtas or quick turnarounds wherein you do not stay at that place you just go to the place stay there for 30 40 minutes get the passengers in again and then you come back home these flights are amazing i used to love them because you come back home on the same day then on the 25th i operated delhi bombay bombay delhi and then once again back home after that on 26th i did nothing at all and on the 27th i did a very long pattern once again which was delhi doha doha calicut calicut doha also along with layovers obviously as you can see so i had a layover in doha then i had a layover in calicut and then on the 29th i again had a layover in doha the remaining part of this flight fell on 1st of March, so that is not shown in this month's roster. So as you can see, I was operating for approximately about 6 days and then I was off for 2 days. This is a very nice working pattern and this is how it usually is in most airlines. However, some places you will find that the airlines will make you operate for like 6 days and then give you 1 day off. Or sometimes you even operate for 7 days and you get 1 day off. Now this is not random. These flights and these flight times are heavily guarded by certain rules which are known as FTTL, Flight Duty Time Limitations. If you want to have a look at them, I will put the document link in the description and you guys can have a look at the exact rules which define how many hours we can fly in a day, in a month, in a year, everything. So on the next page, we had all the codes for the flights. So basically on the previous page, whatever codes had been used, we had the decryption for those codes. For example, uh, door was a door handling refresher, like I said I had a yearly route check, off, operating, positioning, all of that. 
the total hours that I flew in that particular month was 69 hours and 47 minutes. The duty hours were 133 hours. So you can see I actually was flying an airplane for just 70 hours but the total duty time which includes going to the dispatch one hour prior to the flight, doing the post flight checks, your transport time, all of that included. I was working for 133 hours in that particular month and honestly speaking that is not a lot. These many hours are the standard across the industry. As an airline pilot on a narrow body aircraft or even a wide body aircraft, you will end up flying somewhere about 70 to 80 hours in a month. This of course will change depending on a lot of reasons, but this is the usual average. Also on the next page you would have the names of all the people that you're flying with in that particular month. So you would have all the names of either the captains or the first officer that you're paired with. Which of course I do not want to show you because it has people's names. I hope you guys got a good insight into an airline captain's roster and I hope it gave you some idea of how your life would be as a pilot. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please do subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 100,000 subscribers super duper soon. And thank you so much for all the love and support you show me. It's a great pleasure making these videos for you guys. Well, that's pretty much about it and I'll see you guys in the next one.